Hey folks, I'm Chad with CD Shave, and thank you very much for joining me for tonight's face shave. Desperately need, by the way. For those of you that can't tell, because the cameras are good, or can be good, that's where it is. About three days worth of growth on there. Actually, more like two. Yeah, about two days worth of growth. So, all right, so what are we doing today? Today, we are doing a sample and a shave. But before we get into that, let's get into the holiday of the day, because we don't do a shaving video without a holiday of the day. Today's holiday of the day is National Sloppy Joe Day. Now, I know it's kind of late in the evening as far as eating dinner, but if those of you that have not eaten and you're going to eat, why not grab Slop Sloppy Joes? Those things are awesome. I love those things. I've had them ever since I was a kid, but I'm really kind of excited about this particular soap. I know, I'm kind of just skipping right over the holiday of the day. Let's get right into it. We have Noble Otter. This is a sample that was given to me by DK Damn Fine Shave. Also has a YouTube channel. Check him out because he's got a lot of great content. He's putting out a lot of great videos. So this soap, as you can see, is kind of a green tinge to it. And they did say that. I've noticed in the description, oh, the scent is really, really nice. Um, this Again, so this is Noble Otter. Uh, it, it's, it's called Monarch, this particular soap. It smell it's very very strong scented right out right out the right out of the uh, the sample but anyway nonetheless it's a towel based shave soap it is available for four ounce plastic uh, tub on uh, nobleotter.com however they are currently out of stock when they are in stock it's 16 bucks for the tub um, but I just looked tonight and currently they're out of stock I'm sure they'll be in stock at some point soon but as of right now this particular one is out of stock they have a whole bunch of other scents that actually intrigued me quite a bit that I am um, and I wanted to give it a shot, but I wanted to try this base first just to see if it's something that works well for me. It works well for others, but if it doesn't work well for me, I'm not going to buy it. Now, the notes on this are lavender, face powder, cognac, uh, coffee, orange, neroli, hyacinth, hyacinth, sandalwood, and vanilla. Rather uh, complicated uh, scent profile. But the smell is is nice. I, when I first smell this, I almost think ladies perfume, but it, it's not quite like that. The reason I say that, those of you that have smelled this scent, Asian Plum, from Ariane Evans will know what I'm talking about. This almost has a women's perfume scent to it right off the bat, but then it dry, it goes down and takes on a more masculine scent. And I don't have the aftershave with this. This is why I'm pairing it with that, because it kind of this almost has a fruity scent to it. To me, and, and Asian Plum is very similar to that nature. Not exact, but it's very similar. Um, obviously, it wouldn't be exact if it was, then it would be a matching pair, but it's not. So it's more like a hat tipping to it, which is something that I like to do frequently. I like to mix things up a little bit, just so I can get a better, uh, better appreciation for each of the scents that I own, because I own a lot of them. So, um, Moving on here, uh, as far as the soap hardness is concerned, I'm going to take a piece of this out. And as you can see, it's pretty, pretty soft, right? That's pretty soft. And because of that, we're not going to soak it at all. We're just going to take our bowl here. The bowl has been soaking, but I'm going to mash this soap sample or some of the soap sample. Use about that much right into the bowl here. I don't really, I found with these softer soaps, especially if you're going to bowl lather, you don't need to, um, so, or I don't need to soak it, uh, I've noticed. It almost makes it, almost does the soap a disservice. Um, and because the heat from the bowl and the residual water that's in the bowl seems to buy, kind of be enough. So I'm just going to float that on the top of the water here while I clean this up. Take what's left of this, save it for another day. Now, as far as the rest of the gear is concerned, we have our shaving brush right here. This is gonna be a synthetic. This is a, a first generation boss knot. Um, it's kind of scritchy or scritchier than the second generation boss knot, but it has more backbone, which is what I wanted. I like a, br a brush with backbone whenever I'm trying something uh, for the first time. Or not tons of backbone, but a little bit. And as as I said earlier, we got Annie's Asian Plum. We're going to go with for the aftershave on this. And of course, we have our trusty synth, uh, excuse me, Thayer's Witch Hazel 
in the JD bottle. None of this would make any difference without a way to mow the face. So we're going with our Trying to show this here. Can't really see the the decal because it's pretty faded on my straight razor here. But New England Razor Company, you know, if I hold it kind of like this, you can kind of see it off the light. New England Razor Company. Uh, this one's Boston. Uh, this is one of my favorite straight razors that I have, but I have to be very careful because that point right there, that square point, man, put that right up against my old noggin. You can see that how sharp that thing is or how def defined it is. That gets me every time, every time if I'm not careful. So let's take this brush, get it in the water, and last start lathering up. Now, as some of you may or may not know, with um, with the uh, sample and a shave uh, series that I do, I always do the whole shave. This this is a great uh, a great. Uh, I think a hat tipping to some of my other stuff because it uh, allows people to see an entire shave. Those of you that want to see the whole shave, that have asked me for it, this is kind of a way for you to do that and still see some of the newer stuff that I have or that I get exposed to. Got a little bit of water to that. So as far as uh, the lathering is concerned, uh, it's already starting to make a lather. I had a fairly good size um, sample that I put in there and I'm just going to kind of throw the soap around here a little bit see oh yep that eh, just exploded see there you go uh, I'm going to add a little bit more water to that it, it's funny because I got some some air bubbles in there but it's it seems a little dry to me so I'm just going to add a little more water to that and I don't like to play a lot of games with water uh, the soap should be fairly easy for me to lather okay if, if I'm playing around with this too for too long or it's too complicated or I need to figure out oh I need to do this or that I won't I won't buy the soap I don't, or I don't recommend it because it shouldn't be that difficult to make it work there's enough soaps out there that I mean let's face it a lot of new people come onto the block and they shouldn't be having to play games with your soap so it should be fairly easy to lather and this this is I don't have any issues making a lather out of this this puffed right up for me Yeah. There we go. Pretty decent. It's got some it's got a good amount of density on that. So I'm gonna set this right here. Scoop a little bit out of that. We'll throw a little bit of this on the face. As far as the scent strength is concerned, it's died down a little bit. It's not as much as it was off the uh sample still really nice that that women's perfumey beginning like i talked about dies down now i just get like that the really masculine almost like a masculine fruity kind of scent in a way but nice i like it so all right let's get into uh let's throw some lather on the face here Lather's nice and warm. So my bowl's really warm. I'm sitting in that hot water. Okay. I always like my first lather to be extremely pronounced, um, almost in a way, probably overdone it by some other people's standards, but in mine, I like it to be really there, really pronounced, really thick, 
for this first um, pass is this is probably for one of the more important ones for me because it kind of sets the tone for the rest of the shade. So now as far as Noble Otter is concerned, they, they started in 2017. Um, from what I read, started with two people, Cody, and I don't know the name of the other person or the relationship between Cody and the other person. Um, a lot of times it tends to be people, significant others, significant others, yeah, but I, I don't know that that's the case with this one at all. Uh, they're out of Houston, Texas. Started off by making, uh, by making bath, uh, yeah, I think he made some bath soaps and then his wife uh, bought him a wet shaving kit and uh, fell in love with the whole with the whole uh, hobby of wet shaving, all the different scents and different things that were available. And since he had experience in making bath soaps, he decided to try to make some uh, shaving soaps. And then went from there. Made, of course, you know, did the whole testers thing and like most artisans do. So in one of the groups, I just this evening, as a matter of fact, ran into a new wet shaver, or excuse me, a new straight razor shaver. Um, the guy literally has a, sha uh, has a razor on, his, on its way. Never used one before. He was asking about technique and stuff. Um, so we're going to get into that on the second pass. But Howard, you come to the right place. <laughs> I say that tongue in cheek because as much as people are asked about their opinions, everything really is all about what works for you. So Mr. Howard, I'm gonna give you some just basic instruction on grip and so on and so forth. But with the caveat that you need to understand that this is what works for me, it may not work for you. While there are plenty of people out there that would look at what I'm doing and say, well, that's a great idea. Well, hey, that, that's what I do. There's plenty of people out there who would say, I wouldn't do that for whatever reason. Because it doesn't work for them. So, getting back to the soap for a second here while we're relathering for the second pass. I found that the initial uh, slickness on this was definitely there. It wasn't the slickest I've ever felt. But it wasn't bad. I found that the density was there right off the bat. However, I feel like that the soap kind of lost a little bit of density as it went on, but not a deal breaker by any means. All right, so you asked, one of the questions you asked is, do I swap hands? Or you asked the group, not just me. And there's two ways of doing this. This is my strong hand. So I always start off, well not always, but 
most of the time I start off with the strong hand side. Like this. Keeping this razor as flat as I can. Against my face. While still rem uh, maintaining enough of a, an angle. To cut the hair. Just like that. Now, the tricky part for me is for against the grain on my neck, my hair grows this way. It grows from my ears right towards the middle of my neck. I don't really want to hit that. I don't want to go against the grain yet. So, although I was just shaving in this direction on my cheek, and now I'm going to take the blade in my other hand, pull the skin back, and kind of go, I'm going, I'm kind of going in this direction, kind of down at an angle. If you can see that. See that? Now with a round point, you can definitely J turn a lot easier. And J turning is when you take the razor and you kind of do this with it. In this direction can't the wrist this way I have a hard time with the square points because that's where I dig into myself So you can almost you do like a windshield wiper. You can kind of do this. Right? And that works for me. For that pass. Now, to get to the other side, you can use your strong hand on this side to go cross grain. What I've found is you can turn the blade upside down. Grab your ear, pull it sideways, lay that blade almost flat, and this gets you most of the cheek. And even the jawline. And just like that. You'll notice I'm not rinsing my blade in the water. I'm wiping it with a towel. Um, that's a personal preference thing, but that's up to you. I, I prefer to keep my blade dry because if it's wet, my fingers get real slick. And that's all kinds of wrong for me. So now to get this type part right here, I tend to take the ear, just pull it back. And again... Keeping the blade flat, pulling the skin, even puffing the cheek, but don't puff the cheek with the blade on your skin. Wait first. Just like that. Now to do this side. Again, 
the windshield wiper motion like this, but you gotta go If you have a square point, you gotta be careful not to dig that point in. Now, as far as the residual slickness on this, I'm not sure yet because I've been doing a lot of talking. So I'm going to do my next pass without as much talking and see if I can see if I can get a real feeling about because the pass took me a while. Let me just do this uh, second cross grain and see how that way I can get a better feel for the uh, residual slickness here. Okay, um, there's some residual slickness, not a ton, not overly impressed with that part, because the residual slickness for me, usually if there's a lot of it, that usually means that the post shave will be nice. All right, well, so far, <clears throat> this soap for me is okay.
Now they seem to be a pretty popular um, company right now. Um, but I'll tell you, if you're going to get into the soap making business, you really got to be on top of your game. This ain't like five years ago when there wasn't a lot of good product out there. You really have to be on top of it. All right, we'll try to finish this up real quick here. We'll get in a... We'll get in a... We'll get in uh, against the grain, and we'll call, and we'll do a post shave, and we'll call it done. But so far, yeah, it's not bad. I mean, would I buy uh, um, a brand of the, you know, a puck of these guys for sixteen bucks? Yeah, I would. All right, against the grain. Remember, I said it was going from this. So for me, I start out on my neck, and I just throw a swipe this way. All right. Wipe the blade. Swipe it this way. Wipe the blade. A little bit against the grain here. I'm, I'm not going straight up. I'm kind of going like this. It's just to kind of get those stray pesky whis whiskers. You know, for the stray ones that kind of grow. At a weird angle. Yep. Right the blade. We'll do another. Same thing on the other side. Now, don't stress about it. It's not worth it if you're stressing about it. There's always going to be trouble spots. You're always going to have a spot that gives you an issue. Whether it's hard to get. And you'll spend months, years even, trying to land just the right angle. And that's okay. Because you got to figure this. Say you're, you know, say you're 30 years old and you're just getting into straight razor shaving. You say, wow, geez, I've been doing it for six months and I, I'm having a hard time. Dude, what would you tell a 13 year old who was just starting to, sh you're just starting to shave? And they told you after six months they were still having a hard time. You tell them, dude, you just started shaving, you're only 13. People just started shaving with these at 13, and it took them years to get to where they need to get. So give yourself that. Give yourself a break. Don't expect to get this all in, you know, in a month or two. 
If you do, great, good for you. I did not. Yeah, we're going on over 30 minutes here. We gotta get you guys, gotta cut you guys loose. All right, let's finish up this little bit here. There we go. All right. So sometimes I go back and I do a little buffing action, but I think I'm good. Let's check out the uh, what's left. Well, all right, so we get some pretty good peaks here. That density doesn't look too bad. Actually, that density's not bad in the brush. I think maybe just the lather dried out a little bit, um, which may account for the lack of residual slickness because I was talking too much. But those peaks are pretty good. The scent is really nice. I, I do like it. Like I said, it's not overly, um, it kind of died a little bit as far as the that women's perfumish kind of thing that I detected in the beginning. And that's okay. A little bit. Actually, let's try the face. So, pull this right here. Okay. As far as the, um, the an overall slickness is concerned, I thought it was slick. It definitely did the job. I didn't have any issues with it at all. As far as the um, the density, you could see it was there. I think I maybe I was talking a little bit too much, so it dried out. So I'm gonna I dry it out to tad. I'm not gonna knock the soap for that. I think that was me um, because as you can see, when I pulled it out of the brush, it was still plenty hydrated. That probably accounts for the lack of residual slickness that I felt. Uh, I'm not feeling any irritation at all. It was a fantastic shave. Not as not as close right here, but I tend to be a little bit. Um, I don't push that that uh, that particular razor as much as you know um, I'd like to because of that square point. I get nervous with that, but that's just me. Uh, as far as the uh, the scent goes, it was pretty pretty strong. If I had to put a number on it, I would probably put it at like a five, and. It, it stayed that way until, well, at the beginning, and then it dropped. I give it a four after that because that initial, that perfumey scent kind of dropped a little bit. Um, but, uh, you know, good shave. I mean, I definitely not, I'm not regretting using it at all. I would definitely, I, yeah, I'd buy a puck of this, especially for the price. You can't beat that. Either. Well, you can beat that, but I, I think that that's a pretty decent price. On to the aftershave. I'd say... This is definitely a middle ground soap, meaning that because of the price, I call it a middle ground. Are there soaps that are more money? Mm hmm Are there soaps that are more money that, that perform a little better? Yeah. Does that mean this soap is not worth the money? No. Would I pay 18, 19, 20 bucks for this? No. Uh, I would absolutely pay the $16 price tag for this. Uh, yeah, in a heartbeat. So I think, in fact, I may actually when this watch this and when it comes back in stock, I may pick some up. And I can't speak for the aftershave on this at all. I've never tried it, don't have a clue, but if 
far as the shave is concerned, I was pretty I was pretty happy with it overall. So that, ladies and gentlemen, that is the shave. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comments section below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe and haven't yet, well, what are you waiting for? Please do so. Make sure you knock that bell. That way you get a notification every time we do a new video here at CD Shaven. Folks, I am Chad. Thank you very much for joining me. We'll see you guys and girls in the next video.